Good morning, Americans. This is your favorite alien here on the morning of Saturday, August uh, 13th, 2022. And today's special commentary is on a subject that you should find interesting. Humanity. What is it? You guys don't know what it is. Otherwise, you wouldn't be in this predicament. So let me try to explain to you what humanity is and should be. Especially you Americans. All you other humans are the same way. There is no humanity on this planet right now. You got me, you, us, and them. And that's all you have. The Americans think that their way is the best around. Probably the Chinese think so, too, over there. The Russians, well, they have no idea which way is better as long as it's Vladimir Putin's. <laughs> and then you got other countries like North Korea, Iran, Saudi Arabia, which don't know what the hell they want, except that they want to be number one. Uh, then you have the Latin American countries, Central and South America, the European countries, the African countries, which are a disaster, the Australians, New Zealands, uh, the Kiwis, and the Aussies, which are mm, interesting. Uh, yeah, but still, no humanity anywhere around. And let me uh, speculate first. You must have a human culture, and there isn't one set up planet-wide, let alone nationwide. The Chinese, the Russians... And the Americans are all guilty of the same thing. Here in America, you want the Anglo-Saxon culture to be it. You have tried for almost two centuries now to degradate the Native Americans, to disassociate them from their culture, educate them in what it is to be Anglo-Saxon, instead of what it is to be Native American and human. And for the human culture, you can take some of the Anglo-Saxons, some of this and some of that, and some of the others. Same with the African Americans. They do it because they want to be segregated. Whether they like it or not, they're the ones responsible for segregation because the way they act. The Muslims, the same way. The Asians, the same way, and the Latins the same way. Once you get in the United States, if you can ever get the Native Americans and give them a voice in your country's government, say like the uh, nations, the Indian nations that you get under what do you call that? Reservations! Uh, yeah. What are the reservations for? There's nothing reserved for them except for annihilation. It's the way you should call it instead of reservations. Make their culture mean something again because you educate people, Native Americans, and you stop at 1900. After that, there's nothing about Af Native Americans. You have to get a culture, American and, and later human, but you have to set up an American culture and you haven't done that yet. And it's not Anglo-Saxon, okay? That's your problem. The Chinese have the same problem. It's going to be communist and nothing else works here. The Russians, well, it's going to be whatever the Russians is and whoever is in charge. Like right now it's Vladimir Putin and what he says goes... When he goes, somebody else comes in, and we'll go with whatever he says. Uh, see what I mean? The Europeans, well, they don't care. They just kick themselves around like it was a football. And I mean a soccer ball, not a football. But they call it football over there. The Latin Americans, hey, there's no unity there. They could care less on what the Panamanians are doing, the Costa Ricans are doing, the Colombians are doing. The Venezuelans and the Argentines, ah, they don't speak good Spanish down there. You see what I mean? Yeah. But you should bring the culture set. And you should teach the culture. This is 
the language that we're having for our humanity. One, you got to pick one. Say, for instance, English. You pick it because that's the most spoken language around. Chinese is the most spoken language in China, which has more people. But planet-wide, it's not spoken that much. So you can have 1.4 billion people in there that speak Chinese. But if you take uh, people that speak English a little, a little bit, a whole bunch, or whatever, you're over 1.4 billion planet-wide. That's why English should be there. It, it outlasts Spanish and it outlasts French and Portuguese. And definitely Chinese. You got at least about 3 point something billion out of the 6.5 billion that speak English in a certain way or another. China would be number 2 at probably about 2.5 billion I would say. Spanish, just over 2 billion. Portuguese, maybe 800 million there. And Arabic, well, you may be 800 million. But you see what I mean, Americans? You have to decide that. Then you have to decide where you go from there. You got to teach about each culture with a little bit. What is it to be this type of Latin, Panamanian, Colombian, and that? What is it to be European, British, European, French, European, Spanish, uh, Dutch, and put a little sample of that into the humanity recipe. Just think of this as cooking, and you're cooking a recipe for humanity's survival. But are you? That's what we had to do in my home adopted planet. With all the people that were survivors of our ancestors' planet, we had to create a new culture and keep some of the old culture alive okay if you don't do that then you don't know where you came from and you always have to know where you came from because you need a stepping stone from there to where you are now and you americans you don't have a stepping stone every time you get a new presidency a new government you throw whatever came before out in the bath water same with the Europeans and the Chinese and the Russians. And don't forget about uh, the Saudi Arabians. What are they going to do when a Seeds family is finally over with this new crown prince? Because the brothers are going to be all croaked from 1929 in Ben Azid, a Saud. Remember him? Well, he lasted almost 100 years. But it's like the Tudors, 1485 to 1603, then you had to go to the Stuarts. You don't get that, do you, Americans? Or Europeans or anybody else. Do you get what I'm trying to tell you? Hell no. But you need this. You need all this. So let me know. Does it sink in that watermelon brains of yours? I doubt it. Anyway, this is your favorite alien. Good day.